Hello everyone, in this tutorial video, I will explain the while statement of the PHP programming language. But before that, please support this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hit also the notification bell so that you will be notified with all the new videos that I'm going to upload in this channel. And so let us discuss this while statement. This while statement is another looping statement available in PHP programming language. I have already discussed or I have already a video discussing about the for statement which is here in our YouTube channel. And uh, this for statement is also a looping statement. So this while statement will be the second loop statement that I'm going to discuss. And uh, for this for statement, please do watch this video so that you will have a better understanding and idea, especially if you are first time in PHP programming, so that you will have a better idea on how to use this for statement. So let's go back to our topic, which is the while statement. So, like I said, this is a looping statement wherein it repeats some codes or expressions or statements as long as the condition is true. So, what is the syntax for this or how do we use this while statement? And so, the syntax is that you must have the while and you will have your condition here. Your condition should be enclosed in parentheses and this condition should be answerable by true or false so long as this is true this condition is true it will keep on coming inside the block meaning to say the codes to be repeated and so those statements should be enclosed with open and close curly bracket as you can see here in the syntax and so all the codes here that you will place here will be executed repeatedly as long as this condition here is true so as a programmer you have to think based on the given problem you have to think how the expression will be here so your goal is to make it true so that it will go inside and repeat those statements now what are the statements that you can place here so any statement or any expression it could be mathematical expression it be could be conditional statements also using if or using switch or you can place also here another loop statements so everything or anything you can place here inside the code block of the while statement now I have an example here so that you will understand it better is this one here so I have here a while and this is my condition so basically this program will just simply print one two three numbers one two three so it will be something like this so this is the output of this program like i said it will just print numbers one two and three so meaning to say i have to repeat the printing of the numbers but each time it print it will print a different number so it we will start at one and then followed by two and then followed by three so like I said a while ago, you must have a condition here. So here, my condition here is that as long as the x is less than or equal to 3, as long as it is like that, then it will keep coming to line 22 and line 23, and then line 24, and then it will come back in line 21. Again, if you are the programmer, you have to think how it will go inside how the expression, your condition, will become true until such time you will meet the requirements or you will complete the requirement based on the given problem. And so, for me, in this example, I will just put here x equal 1. That is our goal. Okay, just to demonstrate to you how to use the while statement. So, x is equal to 1. So, we have here x. So, 1 less than equal 3. That is true. And so it will go to line 22 and then it will print 1 because the value of x is right now is 1. And so 
on the next line, I have to increase the one so that the next time it will print it, it will print two. So I just have to say dollar $x++. Plus plus. That means before it was one, now it will become two. So x now is two. And so it will go to line 24 and then it will come back to 21. And so it will test again. So this time our x is two. So two less than equal three, that's true. So it will go down to 22. And so it will print two. So we have the two here. And then I will just add again one to two so that it will become three. And so it will go to 24 now and it will come back to 21. So in 21, our X is now three. So three less than equal three. That is true still, right? Because X is equal to three. It is not less than three, but it is equal to three, right? So that's the meaning of less than equal. Less than or equal. So it is equal to three and so it will print in line 22 now it will print 3 and so I will add again x++ plus plus. based on our program it will add x++ plus plus. that means from 3 it will become 4 and so in line 24 and then it will go to line 21 again for the loop this time our x is 4 so 4 less than equal 3 the answer here will be false because 4 is not less than 3, right? So 4 less than equal 3, the answer here is false. So since this one is false, what will happen? It will now get out of the loop. So it will go now to line 25. So in line 25, that's the end of our program. But if you have other codes here, let's say for example in line 25, you had you have other expression here or other program statements here. So those will be executed. How the PHP will know that? Because of this open and close curly bracket. So meaning to say, the boundary of the loop, as long as it is true, it will be from 22, 23, and 24, until 24. So when it becomes false, this condition here, PHP know where is the boundary. So the boundary is from 24, and so therefore, it will go to line 24. So something like that. So this is our output. And so therefore, if I will change this to, let's say, 4, okay, I will run now the program. So what will happen? So I'm going to save. I'm going to run. See, nothing was printed. Why? Because let's see, dollar $x is 4. And so it will go to 21 now. All right? Again, this one, we run it. No? So once we run it, so it will go to each of this line, it will execute all, all this line, and then finally it reaches 20, so x is equal to 4, okay, no problem with that. And then in line 21, while x, what is x? It is 4. So 4 less than equal 3, the answer here is false. So it will go to line 25. And so therefore when we run this program, nothing will be printed. So something like that. Okay, so if I will start this to, let's say, 2, what will happen? Refresh. There you go. So there is no 1. Okay, so this is how we use the loop statement. Okay, you just have to find a way based on the given requirements. As a programmer, you have to think logically how your expression here will become true. So as long as it is true, that's the only thing that you have to remember as long as this is true it will keep on going inside the code block you can also use logical operators here okay so for instance you can say here uh, and let's say dollar x less greater equal let's say six so what do you mean by that so as long as this is true and this is true it will come inside so something like that so if we will run this let us see so nothing happened so nothing was printed why because this is 2 x less than equal 3 so the answer here will be the answer here will be uh, true but here the answer here will be 2 greater equal 6, the answer here is false. 
So true and false, the answer here is false. Again, I have a tutorial video about these logical operators. We have the OR, the NOT, the SOR, and the, and the END operator. And so it is actually here. I created a video, tutorial video for each of these logical operator. The NOT, the SOR, the END, and the OR. So you can watch this video so that you will have a better understanding of these logical operators. And so the answer here, since the answer here is false, and so it will go to line 26. So again, in while statement, you can also combine logical operators and your relational operators. So relational operators such as less than equal, greater than equal, equal equal. So those are the relational operators. I have another example here. So it's a combination of HTML and PHP. So if we will run this program now, so it will become something like this. I combined HTML tags and the PHP script. And so the output is something like this. And so if you will see the program now, as you can see, I have defined my table here and also here. Okay, so inside will be the creation of rows so instead of me writing each row okay i need three tr here because i i have three rows so what i did is i just use a loop statement that will create the three rows while at the same time while creating each row it will create two columns so here it is so i need only three and so i will use x is equal to 1 any variable no? so I'm just using x as my counter and so while x is equal to or less than or equal to 3 and so that is true and so it will create a row here okay and then in line 26 it will create one column inside that row and then another column in line 27 so this is the output of that in line 27 and then I have to close my row line 28 echo slash tr that's line 28 okay so we created now one row before looping again i have to increase my x which is plus one and so it will go up now line 24 again so x is now two x less than equal three so that's the answer there is true and so it will go to line 25 again to execute echo tr so i will create another row so each time it goes into the loop, it, each time it goes inside the code block, it will create a row. And for each row, it will create a column. And so this is the output of it. And so this is simply how to use the while statement in PHP. As long as this condition is true, it will keep going inside the code block. I hope you have learned something new in this tutorial video. Thank you very much for watching and see you on my next one.